Okay, guys. Hi. Um, okay, what is it today? Today is... Jesus, I don't even know what day it is today. Sorry. Tuesday, August 25th. Um, okay, so I uh, just want to give you guys an update. Sorry for the noise. That's my computer with the liquid cooling that drives me absolutely batshit. It makes a lot of noise, but there's nothing I could do about that. Like, well, I could shut it off, but I have to do some work after I finish this. So, um, sorry, but I have to leave it up. Um, okay. So, since the last time we talked, I honestly don't think there's anything that's happened. Um, it took me a while to get a referral to UCSF and once I finally did get the referral which was on Friday I got the confirmation for that um, once I got that confirmation I got a call from another business office for Kaiser who said that the referral was basically for a second opinion and I had reiterated I don't know how many times through this whole process. It is not for a second opinion. It is to be treated at UCSF. So I have a feeling I'm, I'm going to be going through another, another battle. This shit is getting, it's, it's getting to be a lot. I have Okay, so I got the referral to UCSF, right? But I also happen to have a video appointment with my Kaiser oncologist tomorrow. Kaiser oncologist isn't even treating me. I'm not on anything right now, except Joe Tippin's protocol, of course. Um, but I know my cancer's growing. I have a video appointment with a UCSF doctor on Friday. Why it's taking so long for a video appointment when I have aggressive cancer? I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to, this hurts, uh, not in this area here. It hurts over here and it hurts in my neck. I'm guessing where the blood clot is. It's been bug it's been bugging me, I should say. Um, it's it's really hard right now. Um for me specifically because I need to get back on chemo in order for this cancer to die. I don't want to do chemo through Kaiser because my fucking doctor sucks. Dr. Kwong said he would take me as a patient but I had to travel all the way to San Jose if I wanted to get infusions. We all know that's bullshit. He could be my doctor. He could place the order for Modesto to get my meds ready. I don't trust Kaiser. I don't trust Kaiser anymore and I really don't feel like putting my hands, my life in their hands again. UCSF seems to be dragging their feet. I'm gonna call tomorrow. <sighs> See if there's anything I could speed up or, I don't know, something, right? Sorry, I wasn't even in the shot. I'm kind of all over the place. Um, there's been pain. Nothing excruciating, 
the fatigue is kicking in and it's horrible. Still having issues with eating. I'm, I'm 114 today, I think. It was 117 a few days ago, so I'm gonna have to work again, trying to put that back on me. And you know, it's crazy because a lot of you already know, you know, you shouldn't be like loading up on protein because cancer uses protein for fuel, I think. Cancer uses protein for something. next week I'm sorry I don't have much to offer it's been it's been a real pain um, even with involving the media there's still there's still fuckery happening um, so um, tomorrow I have the video appointment and then Tomorrow I have a phone appointment with an oncology nurse. For what? I don't know. I don't know. Um, that's at 10 o'clock a.m. At 11.30 a.m. I talk with my crappy oncologist. Then I have on Friday a video appointment with a nutritionist from Kaiser, which you know, you'd think I would have. Anyway, I have a new, uh, an appointment with a nutritionist and I have the video appointment with the doctors from UCSF on Friday. And then on the 30, ooh, on the 31st, I'm supposed to get my port flushed, but I'm not going to be in the city, so I'll probably talk to Dr. When I talk to Dr. Ng tomorrow, I'll ask him to set it up so that I could go in and get my port, my port flushed. It's sticking out more. I feel like, I don't know, this is just so weird for me. I did meet someone recently who got the same power port as I did. It's little, but his is like jacked directly into his heart. I thought this was creepy. I don't know. Different type of cancer he had. I think he had leukemia, I think. Um, but yeah. I did talk to somebody who is pointing me in the direction of a naturopath doctor that does IV, vitamin, vitamin C IV infusions. But he's like three and a half hours away from me. So I'm gonna call him, get some information, maybe check around again to see if there's somebody that's a little more local for me. But he also, I was told, he also prescribes doxycycline and a few other things, off-label drugs, like from Jane McClellan's book. For those of you that are instructing me to read Jane McClellan's book, I have two copies. <laughs> I have read it. Um, I have Chris Beats Cancer, I have Radical Remission, um, I have the, uh, who's that psychic, that medium that does the health things, I have one of his books too for the liver, excuse me, um, yeah I have a lot of, I have a lot of books, and I just recently was so lucky to be added to two new Facebook groups, um, that are providing a wealth of information on how to fight my cancer specifically. There are two women that, God bless them, they are just helpful. They are just angels on earth, honestly. Um, when I get more of that information together, um, as 
in addition to what I'm going to be taking, um, I will be coming back with all of that. Right now, for those of you who don't know, I am on fenbendazole. I'm taking two grams a day. Two of the one gram packets or one of the two gram packets. I take Safeguard, okay? So um, I'm taking that. I had to stop my vitamin E and I also had to stop the Theracurmin or bioavailable curcumin because it thins my blood and I'm on blood thinners currently because of the blood clot. Um, so that stopped temporarily. I am taking the fenbendazole with DMSO. Oh my God, that tastes like I would imagine rancid dog shit tastes like. Um, I actually dry heat for a while after taking it. <laughs> it's so nasty. Um, Fenbo with DMSO, turkey tail mushroom, magnesium twice a day, 500 in the morning, 500 at night, vitamin D3 with K2 and the black pepper for absorption. Um, sometimes I take tart cherries. It's supposed to be good for immunity. It's a, a, a supplement. Um, what else? Uh, loratadine, which is Claritin. Sometimes I take uh, melatonin. I haven't been doing that really um, consistently, so um, there's that. I do take metformin twice a day, 500 in the morning, 500 at night. Last A1C was really good. Uh, I actually wanted to take me off of or um, reduce my diabetic medication and I asked them not to um, because it helps to block cancer pathways. Um, right now, as you can probably see, I have a lot more energy than usual. It's been hills and valleys. Um, Sometimes I'll just get really, really weak all of a sudden, and I, I hate that. Um, my balance is a little off still because I still have neuropathy in my left foot. It's still very numb. Um, and I've, I've been off of the chemo, and I've been off of Lympharza now. I've, it's, it's getting close to two months. Um, so we could just imagine, you know, the fire the storm that's going on inside of me. I'm just hoping that the Fenben and DMSO is helping to kind of stop the, the spread. I don't know. Um, everybody knows pancreatic cancer is super aggressive, so it might just be me wishful thinking. But I'd rather, rather be positive than not. Um, shout out to ba Barb Morrison. Hi, Barb. Um, got to text with her a little bit. And actually, I just checked my phone. Uh, I noticed you sent me, if Barb, if you're watching, you sent me a text. I will be responding tomorrow, though, because it's already 930, and I don't know if um, you're asleep or not. So I'll respond tomorrow. Sorry about that. Um, just wild day today taking care of things. Um, I ha oh, and on top of everything else, <laughs> my son bought me a brand new dishwasher. I'm getting a new dishwasher. I'm excited. Um, I think that's it, guys. Uh, unfortunately, not much information. Kind of a lot of hurry up and wait. Um, but hopefully tomorrow, I will have more information. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys have any questions or anything, um, just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them. I know there's been like a lot of comments that I've wanted to get to, but, and I apologize for not getting back to you all in a, in a timely manner. I'm just really trying to get um, my health care and, and uh -oh. SSI I was finally approved for. 
I've got to apply for um, Medi-Cal and so much stuff. And I got a bit of bad news yesterday that I've like tucked away. It's affected me harder than I thought. Um, my family, not all of us, um, are are close. We, I have a gigantic family, a very huge family, so of course not all of us are close. There's, you know, family members we keep in contact, constant contact with, and those we try to. Um, I had been talking with. Um, with my Uncle Bill, he had cancer, and I thought he was doing okay. I had planned on going to see him, but he didn't make it yesterday. yesterday. And Uncle Bill was a great person, very kind person, had a great heart, and I'm going to miss him. I think the planet is going to miss him. Um, so if you could say a, a prayer for, um, our cousins Diane, Gabby, and Greg, and my Aunt Marie. But that would be really wonderful. I really appreciate it. Um, and on that note, um, I'm going to close this video. And I'll be back. Um, Hopefully tomorrow, it'll probably be tomorrow night after I get through everything that I need to get through tomorrow. Okay. Um, so, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking in. Um, we'll let you know about Dr. Ng, UCSF. the dishwasher <laughs> and um hopefully uh hopefully i'll have some time to call that doctor in reading um for oh for any of you Dr. Dan Goodman. He charges $95 for 15 minutes. Um, you don't have to have insurance. His phone number is 530-605-4557. He does doxy, hydroxychloroquine, um, and atorvastatin. Um, so those are three that I'm going to be looking at adding to my protocol as, as, you know, in Jane's book, those have proven to be effective. Um, so there's that. <laughs> I hope, I hope that helps somebody I really do. Um, it was really great news for me and yes, I will drive the three and a half hours if necessary. 
um, to get that vitamin C IV um, because Western medicine doctors may not believe in it, but it's helping a lot of people. I can just hope it can help me. Um, okay. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> so have a good night and I will see you guys soon with hopefully more information. <laughs> okay, bye.